Okay, good afternoon, all of you. And despite the project I presented to you before, and it was, and now it's going to an end, to an end. this is almost part in, so I want to be able to show you uh, results and outcomes. But uh, following the same structure, I used to present the previous project, the Easter project. I will show you uh, the main ideas of uh, this project. Um, it can be inscribed in the same research area I told you before related to intercultural issues, multicultural issues, and in this case with the delicate issue of religion. Maybe the first impression you may have when you think about a project devoted to religion studies in a multicultural research line can be that of, that of uh, the need to cope with different uh, immigrant and uh, uh, even the local cultures uh, evolving in our European uh, countries nowadays. But that's not the only uh, aim of this project. And uh, I would be interested in pointing on it because this could be maybe quite simple. We have Muslims and Jewish and uh, Oriental students, so we have the need to um, promote the integration in uh, citizenship, uh, education skills, and that's the only aim of this project. It's more than that. And uh, we are six partners. The lead partner is the University Carlos Cari from Venice. And then maybe the interesting thing is that we have an institute for study of religions and we have an uh, NGO, Oxfam, uh, Italy. And uh, now you can see how we try to focus the problem of religion and religious studies, uh, not only in uh, classroom studies, but also in different uh, scenarios. The challenge, so uh, as I introduced to you before, is not only to deal with uh, religious issues in uh, our classrooms, but to become aware of the importance of religion in culture, history, sciences, and so on. Um, as a history teacher, I'm aware, and most of us history teachers are aware of the relevance of religion. And as a philosophy teacher, I'm aware of the relevance of history teacher, of, uh, sorry, uh, of religious uh, studies and religion uh, as a uh, very important part of uh, heritage for uh, building knowledge. But it is not so common to take this into account with your, when you are a maths teacher. And this is not so common when you have to deal with different cultures and you have to teach something and you are not aware of that. And most of our teachers confess that they even don't know about this cultural and religious uh, issues involved in different uh, cultures and traditions. And they don't, they don't even know how to uh, face these problems when these problems come to, to the classrooms. And um, that's why we aim to promote uh, the development of high quality and all confessional teaching of religions. We are not interested in training religious teachers, Catholic on, or Muslim. This is not to deal with religion studies as a confessional uh, study. It's more uh, the idea of promoting an effective intercultural and uh, dialogue and citizenship education because it is simple to, uh, to expect the acceptation of the other when we are constraining the other to accept our culture. But it is 
quite difficult to uh, gain an uh, environment where cultures accept to each other when we have problems at school. And uh, uh, that's the other point that I, I appreciate in the project. The fact that we value the role of religions in the configuration of cultural, identi cultural identities and their influence in science solved. So, despite of the use of religion as an issue or as a problem in a school, we intend to use religions as uh, an opportunity to, understand, to better understand our culture. And when I say our culture, I say human culture, not Western or Eastern culture or Christian culture, human culture. And we, we will try to do so uh, doing again a baseline study on uh, the actual, the, the nowadays situation of teaching and of uh, uh, using of religious phenomena in, at school and uh, the production of innovative and didactic tools for uh, using as sources for improving teachers and students' skills. Uh, with regard to different cultures or religions they can probably have in their own uh, surroundings. And teaching support activities, training courses, uh, the development of a virtual community, training actions, uh, the exchange of uh, different experiences in classroom and with the NGOs uh, partners in the project. Um, to collect good practices and lessons for uh, the development of this project. Uh, the project is ongoing, in fact, it's uh, about nine months. As you all know, first months are not the most profitable for the production of, of outcomes. Anyway, we have uh, done the baseline study, it's divided online. And we are developing the Twin Space community. We are uh, gathering teachers and we are uh, developing contents for feeding this, uh, this Twin Space uh, environment for uh, starting the development of new activities. The, um, we expect to develop 27 digital models with this. Um, different approaches, four of them with theoretical approaches of main, uh, main cultures, uh, nine models given a general introduction to some religions, Judaism, Christianity, uh, Islam, Hinduism, etc. And 14 matic models concerning religious diversity and activities to use in classroom for uh, our teachers to face the problems they could find not only in behavior or the acceptation of the other, but also in the use of this uh, culture and, and uh, heritage as part of the uh, curriculum related to mathematics, related to history, related to art and philosophy and literature and so on. And we expect to produce also didactic guidelines for teachers and training actions for um, Formal and informal training actions for uh, for these teachers who expect to uh, gain for the cost of, of uh, training space. And um, we have not experienced problems up to the moment, in spite of a histo project, because we did we didn't start with the exploitation of this work. But what we expect is that um, most of our colleagues uh, would be interested only in uh, solving problems related to uh, religion issues in classroom. But we want to go further and to, uh, to, to, to face a positive approach of religions, not only for defending us for the problems religions coming into classroom, but to use the uh, 
uh, historical and uh, scientifical and uh, um, a positive vision of religion itself as part of uh, our culture, our cultures, and part of our students' learning and uh, uh, philosophical, uh, epistemological, and uh, even anthropological approach to know the other, not only as uh, a guy who takes different clothes or different traditions, but why they are different, or why they are not so different as we expect. And uh, as, you, as you can see, we have not uh, many uh, products at the moment to show you, but in case you are interested in some questions, uh, I, will ask you. I will try to, to, 